ABC 10 News at 11 starts now. And we begin tonight with breaking news. A plane makes an emergency landing on a busy San Marcos street, hitting a car and narrowly missing homes along the side. Good evening. I'm Jared Aarons. Our top story tonight, this miraculous moment. You see this footage from a dash cam from several angles. That plane flying so low over these cars and then slamming down on the street. The pilot told air traffic control he had lost power. Amazingly, the pilot and a passenger walked away unhurt. Two people in the car had only minor injuries. ABC 10 News reporter Madison Weil is in San Marcos, where people who live on that street are still in shock. Yeah, Jared, a pretty remarkable scene. Hours after the initial crash, we can still see the plane and debris on the roadway. People who live in these apartments nearby saw it all and say they're amazed everyone is all right. A Cessna landing on this San Marcos roadway. This video captured via dash cam. From this angle, just moments before, you can see the plane coming down dangerously close to traffic. Tower, uh, we are not making full power. Um, we'd actually like to get down as soon as possible. That's the pilot speaking with air traffic control, warning they've lost power. Do you see any roads? Affirmative, we're going to try and go for a road. They landed moments later on Rancho Santa Fe Road, colliding with this car. We're told two men were in the plane, two people were in the car. Miraculously, only the car passengers had minor injuries. The plane, it flew overhead. I mean, it couldn't have been more than 100 yards over our head. This family saw the plane flying shockingly low while at a barbecue. Could have been much worse. There's a big wide road that the plane was able to land on. There's a lot of houses around here. This man lives in one of those homes. He was napping when he heard the plane crash just yards away. I walked immediately down where I met my neighbor, and I was like, you know, it could be us. San Marcos Fire Department responding, calling the pilot a hero. He did an amazing job, frankly, on being able to land here on Rancho Santa Fe and avoid all of the homes and structures that are around. Relief that no one was seriously hurt. The FAA is investigating this crash. We're told that NTSB and the San Marcos Sheriff's Department will also be looking into what exactly went wrong. In San Marcos, Madison Weil, ABC 10 News.